actors. Welcome back. I hope you had fun last week during class where we explored the story of the Three Billy Goats Gruff. I'm so excited to explore today's story with you. That story is going to be Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Before we get started, uh, if you have any questions about today's class, any of the warm-ups we do, um, our story adventure, or any of the games um, or activities that we play, um, just leave a comment below this video and I will do my best to answer you. All right, let's get started. So before we dive into our story adventure, what do we always do at the beginning of class? Right, we warm up. What are the three things that actors warm up before we do a play or create theater? We warm up our bodies, right? We warm up our, our voices and we warm up our imaginations. Good, let's get started. Okay, friends. First, we're gonna start with a body warm up, like we always do. So, if you remember the story of the of Goldilocks and the three bears, you know that there are three bears. There is a Papa Bear, a Mama Bear, and a Baby Bear. And Papa Bear likes to do things in a very big way. Uh, Mama Bear likes to do things in a medium way, and Baby Bear likes to do things in a very tiny and cute way. So we're going to use that part of the story to inspire our warm-ups today. So as we warm up our bodies, we're going to be doing stretches and moving our, our bodies around in tiny ways like Baby Bear, in medium ways like Llama Bear, and in big ways like Papa Bear. So let's start out with our neck. So first let's move it in a tiny way like, like Baby Bear would. Just a little side to side. And then in a medium way like Mama Bear would. So maybe a little more to the side. Get all your crunchies out, your Rice Krispies. And then side to side in a medium way like Mama Bear would. And then in a big way, like Papa Bear would, all the way around, roll it out. Let's do one more this way, and then rack the other way. Very good. That feels really good, right? So now next, let's go to our shoulders. So let's just kind of, in a small way, like Baby Bear, just up and down a little bit. And in a medium way, start to roll them. And then in a very big way, all the way up to your ears and all the way down, back up to your ears, all the way down. One more this way and then let's switch and go the opposite way. Good. All right, shake it out, shake it out, okay. All right, now let's warm up our arms. So let's start in a very tiny, small way just by warming up our hands and our fingers, giving them a little open and close, a little shake, then add some elbows in, in a medium way. And then in a big way, let's, uh, let's go across our body. and switch it up and in a big way behind and switch it up and shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good, all right. Now let's warm up our legs and our torsos by bending down in a small way, just kind of going side to side with our torsos and our hips. And then in a medium way where you kind of just roll it around. And opposite. And then in a big way when we're gonna go all the way up. Up, 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 up. And then over all the way down. 
to your right leg, to the middle, to your left leg, back to the middle, and roll up slowly, slowly, slowly. One vertebrae at a time, and your head should be the last thing that comes up. <sighs> All right, now shake your whole body out. Let's shake our whole bodies out in a small way, in a medium way, and in a big way. Good job. Now that our bodies are warm up, warmed up, let's move on to warming up our voices. So, All right, friends, now that we have warmed up our bodies and we're ready to move, let's warm up our voices. So we are going to use the three little bears, baby bear, mama bear, and papa bear to warm up our voices, just like we did our bodies. So we did everything in a big way, in a medium way, and in a small way. So we're going to use that concept to warm up our voices as well. So first, let's start by repeating after me. Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Good job. So as you know, in the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Baby Bear, Mama Bear, and Papa Bear all say these lines. So we're going to say these lines as we warm up our big voice, our medium voice, and our tiny little baby voice. So first, let's start with our Papa Bear voice. And as you um, may remember from last week, our warm up, we imagined that um, our voices were coming from different parts of our bodies. So if we were Papa Bear and we had a big, strong voice, where do you think that voice would come from if it were coming from a part of our body? It, right, it would come from our stomachs or our pelvis and hips, right? Um, because we can be very grounded and use use our um, our tummies to to say that to say who's been eating my porridge, who's been sleeping in my bed, who's been sitting in my chair, right? So let's start with Papa Bear. Repeat after me. Who's been eating my porridge? Good. Who's been sitting in my chair? Very good. And who's been sleeping in my bed? Good. So we used our big voices to to um, say those lines as Papa Bear. Now let's use our medium voices to say those lines as Mama Bear. And if you think about last week's warm up, maybe Mama Bear, um, Mama Bear's voice could come from our masks. So we imagine that it's coming from our masks. The, uh, the sound of our voice, voices are coming from our masks. So repeat after me. Who's been eating my porridge? Who's been sitting in my chair? Who's been sleeping in my bed? Good job. Now we are going to use our tiny voices um, to, to warm up our voice. Um, so our baby voices or tiny voices or our high voice. If um, we're thinking about last week's lesson, it was the voice at the tip top of our head that we imagined coming out of the tip top of our heads. So repeat after me. Who's been eating my porridge? Who's been sleeping in my bed? Who's been sitting in my chair? Good job. 
Now we are going to do our sirens um, that we have done in every class, right? So um, what that is, if we need a reminder, is we start at the bottom of our voice, the lowest note that we can possibly make and go all the way up to the highest note that we can possibly make. Okay, so if you think about this in three bears terms, we're starting with our big voices, moving up through our medium voices, and then to our tiny voices or high voices. So we're gonna start by starting at the bottom and going to the top and back down to the bottom. So let's do Papa Bear voice into Mama Bear voice into Baby Bear voice. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Ooh. Good job. Let's try that one one more time. One, two, three. Ooh. Good job. Now let's start with our baby bear voices, moving into our mama bear voices, into uh, our papa bear voices, and then back all the way up through your mama bear voice to your baby bear voice. So we're just reversing this, okay? So on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Ooh. That one sounds a little silly, right? Let's try that one one more time. One, two, Good job. Okay, friends, now that we have warmed up our bodies and our voices, what time is it? It's time to warm up our imaginations. So, what I would like you to do is walk around the room that you are in, just normally. Just walk around. Now, I would like you to walk like you are Papa Bear. How does a bear walk and how would a papa bear walk? Now I would like you to walk like you are a mama bear. And think about how you want your mama bear to be or your papa bear or your baby bear as you're walking. They can be a silly mama bear. They can be a prim and pop proper mama bear or they can be a dancing mama bear. Any kind of mama bear, pop bear, big bear that you choose. Okay. Now, I would like you to walk like you are a baby bear. Now, we're gonna continue to walk like Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear, and walk around doing uh, as these characters that I'm about to give to you in big, medium, and little ways. So let's imagine that we are Papa Bear ballerinas. So let's walk around. All right, so all of your movements for Papa Bear ballerinas would be big, right? Big movements. Now, let's walk around like we are Mama Bear ballerinas. Be just medium. Now we are Baby Bear ballerinas. We're walking around like we're Baby Bear ballerinas. Very tiny movements. Good job. Now let's walk around the space like Papa Bear walking through peanut butter. It's really hard, but he's making some big movements to try to get through this peanut butter. Maybe Papa Bear swimming through the peanut butter, digging through the peanut butter. You choose. All right. Now, let's walk through peanut butter like we're Mama Bear. And we're walking 
sucking through peanut butter like we're baby bear. All right, good job. Now we are going to walk like Papa Bear, but we're in outer space. So maybe Papa Bear is really floating around in outer space. He can really float because he makes big movements, right? And we're going to walk around the room or float around the room in outer space like we are Mama Bear. And let's imagine that we are walking through outer space as Baby Bear. Smaller floating. All right, nice job warming up your imaginations. Now that we've warmed up our bodies, our voices, and imaginations, it's time to dive right into our story adventure. Okay, actors, we have warmed up our bodies, we have warmed up our voices, and we have warmed up our imagination. So here we go with our story adventure of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So, like we have been doing before, I will give you word cues and an action or a phrase to say. And when you hear that word read in the story, you will do that action or say that phrase. So, if you hear me say Goldilocks in the story, you are going to skip around in a circle. Skip around in a circle like Goldilocks when you hear me say Goldilocks. When you hear me say the word bowl in the story, you're going to make a bowl shape with your hands. Big bowl shape or a tiny bowl shape or this kind of bowl shape. We're going to make a bowl shape with our hands when you hear me say the word bowl in the story adventure. So when you hear me say Goldilocks, you're going to skip in a circle like Goldilocks. When you hear me say bowl, we're going to make a bowl with our hands. When you hear me say chair, you are going to sit if you are standing when I say it. And if you're sitting when I say it, you are going to stand. So if I say chair, you sit if you're standing. And if I say chair when you're sitting, you stand when you're sitting. So if I said chair two times and you, you were standing, it was the first time I said chair, I would say chair, you would sit. Say chair again, then you would stand. Okay, cool. So we're all standing back up. If I say Goldilocks, we skip in a circle like Goldilocks. If I say bowl, we make a bowl shape with our hands. If I say chair, we sit or we stand, depending on what we're doing at that moment in the story. All right, two more. If I say bed in the story, we're all gonna yawn and stretch. And I would like you to choose if you want to be Papa Bear, Baby Bear, or Mama Bear, and all of these actions can either be tiny stretches, medium, or big, depending if you are Baby Bear, Mama Bear, or Papa Bear, or doing the actions like Mama Bear, Baby Bear, or Papa Bear, okay? So if I say Goldilocks, we skip around in a circle like Goldilocks. If I say bowl, we make a bowl with our hands. If I say chair, we sit or stand, depending on what we're doing at that moment in the story. If I say bed, we yawn and we stretch. All right, last one. If I say the word berries, if you hear me say the word berries in the story, you're gonna rub your tummy and say yummy. Good job. And when you do that, make a choice. If you are Papa Bear, maybe you would say it like, yummy, in a big voice. If you're Mama Bear, maybe you would say it, yummy, in a medium voice. And if you're Baby Bear in the story, yummy, right? 
Okay, let's do a practice round with just me saying the words that you are going to activate with movement or your voice. So here we go. Goldilocks. Bull. Chair. Bed. And berries. Yummy. All right, I think we are now ready to dive into our story. Are you ready? Are you sure? All right, here we go. Once upon a time, there were three bears who loved to eat porridge for breakfast. They especially loved putting berries, yummy, on top. But one day, they ran out of berries. <laughs> Yummy! So they went into the forest to find more. Meanwhile, a girl named Goldilocks was lost in the very same forest. Pretty soon, she found the bear's house. She knocked on the door, and when no one answered, she walked right in. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Goldilocks was hungry. She tested the porridge from the first bowl. This porridge is too hot, she exclaimed. So she tasted the porridge in the second bowl. This porridge is too cold, she said. So she tasted the last bowl of porridge. Ah, this porridge is just right. And she happily ate it all up. After she'd eaten, eaten the three bears breakfasts, she decided that she was feeling a little tired. So, she walked into the living room where she saw three chairs. Goldilocks sat in the first chair to rest her feet. This chair is too hard, she exclaimed. So she sat in the second one. This chair is too soft, she whined. So she tried the last and smallest one. Ah, this chair is just right, she sighed. But just as she settled down into the chair to rest, it broke into pieces. Goldilocks was very tired by this time. So she went upstairs to the bedroom. She lay down on the first bed. <sighs> but it was too hard. She then lay in the second bed. <sighs> but it was too soft. Then she lay down in the third bed. <sighs> and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. As she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled the papa bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said the mama bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up, cried the baby bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said the papa bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said the mama bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. And they've broken it all to pieces, cried the baby bear. They decided to look around some more. And when they got upstairs to the bedroom, papa bear growled. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. 
Someone's been sleeping in my bed. <gasps> Two, said the mama bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. <sighs> and she's still there, exclaimed Baby Bear. Just then, Goldilocks. woke up and saw the three bears. She apologized and offered the three bears her berries. Yummy. The bears were happy and they all lived happily ever after. You guys did an awesome job with that story adventure and I had so much fun doing it with you too. Now that we have warmed up our bodies, our voices, our imaginations, and explored our story, we're gonna play a super fun game. It's one of my favorites. It's called Freeze Dance. I'm sure most of you know how to play this, but if you don't, you'll hear some music and we dance. We dance around like bears. I want you to choose a character that you want your bear to be. So I think my bear is gonna be a silly bear. So I'm going to dance like a silly bear um, during this freeze dance. But you can choose whatever kind of character you want. Yours can be a serious dancing a bear or a, a very um, sophisticated bear. Um, anything that you want to choose, you can choose that for your, for your character during this freeze dance. Um, so you'll hear music and we'll groove out. And then when the music stops, you have to freeze in whatever position you are in. All right, here we go. All right, and unfreeze. Good job, wasn't that fun? Well, my bears, our time for today is done, but I had so much fun with you today and I hope that you had an awesome time exploring Goldilocks and the three bears with me as well. Today, we warmed up our bodies and our voices in 
big, little, and medium ways, just like Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and Baby Bear. We warmed up our imaginations by walking like bears through all kinds of things, like peanut butter and space and as ballerinas. That was so fun. We explored a super fun story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and we also played a super fun game of freeze dance, um, which was my favorite part because that was really silly and I liked that. Um, on the count of three, I want you to tell me your favorite activity that we did today. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> that was super fun. I liked that one too. Um, I hope you had fun today and I cannot wait to see you again next week for our story adventure of, drum roll please, Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> Bye.